everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Andrea it's nice to have you guys here today I have a bit of a collective Sephora haul <laughs> this wasn't supposed to happen I didn't intend to purchase enough items from Sephora to warrant a haul and as you'll see some of these are just really little things but there was the Memorial Day sale that they were having last Monday I picked up a couple things from that then there were some things that I'd already been kind of looking for and wanting to try and so yeah next thing I knew there were two separate trips to Sephora and an online order. I'm going to go through the two bags first and then we'll get to the box. First bag is just something that's really little but that I wanted to get and they are the Shiseido facial cotton pads. I've tried the smaller travel size it's like a third of this package but it's $5 for a third of the amount of a full size or it's $10 for a full size. So it's a better value to get the full size pack. So I've tried them, I do like them. And even though when I first heard about them, I thought $10 for 165 sheets, which is a fair amount, but it's, it's, I definitely wondered like am I just paying because of the name of the brand but it's a hundred percent cotton they are so soft and so what I really like these for is if I'm having any breakouts on my skin I like them because they're not rough so they don't like tug and drag over any breakouts that I have but they're also really good for removing eye makeup um, so if I'm using an eye makeup remover instead of like a cleansing balm or something to remove my eye makeup, these I feel like are just a lot more gentle on around my eye area and on my lashes. So I I upgraded to the full size. I still use regular cotton pads for when I don't feel like I need something a little bit extra gentle, but I like these. So this pack will last me for a while. Then on another trip in the other bag, I picked up two face products and these have kind of become my staples so I picked up the Aborian CC cream high definition radiance face cream skin perfector with SPF 25 this is a really cool product I'm still playing with it in some lights I worry that it oxidizes slightly on my skin but then in other lights it looks completely fine so I think it's more of a lighting issue than a product issue. It's really interesting. I have it in shade Claire um, which is the lighter shade. I'm not going to use too much of this but when it comes out of the tube it comes out white which you can see. But when you blend it in it starts to turn colors. And so it matches to your skin tone and it's got a bit of color and a bit of coverage and you do need to make sure that you you blend it out around the edges of your face properly yeah it just I'm, I'm wearing it today and then all I'm wearing on top of it is some powder blush and highlighter but I don't have any like foundation powder or foundation you can use it as a primer or you can use it on its own I've been using it on its own and it's just enough coverage for me it kind of just evens out my skin tone and really liking it so far the other thing I'm wearing today is the Becca under eye brightening corrector so it comes in a little pot like this I have this in the lightest shade which is light to medium they have a medium to deep and then it's just slightly peachier than my skin tone but when you put it on over like your dark circles it just kind of neutralizes them so again I'm not wearing any other concealer on top of this it's just this these two have kind of become my go-to products as far as my base is concerned and then I'll just add on some light translucent powder just to kind of set things although what I like about this as well is it absorbs nicely and it doesn't leave my skin feeling sticky and greasy like um, when you put on some moisturizer the sunscreens you can kind of feel like that and it doesn't do that so I don't need powder some days I don't put powder on, some days I just put on some blush and maybe some highlighter and go. Today I knew I was going to be out and it's super hot, <laughs> so I put some powder on as well. These have kind of become my main daily staples, so I'm really enjoying that. The next thing that I got in the store, and I was so excited, this was a total impulse buy. I did not go in 
planning on buying this. I went in that day planning on buying the Aborian um, CC Cream and the Becca Under Eye Brightener, but I did not plan on buying this. So this is the Sephora Favorites Beauty on the Fly Ultimate Travel Bag for Face, Body, and Hair. I absolutely love when Sephora comes out with their any of their Sephora Favorites collections. I love having minis and travel sizes, either for travel purposes or just to try something for a fair amount of time, so anything that's more than like a single use sample. I love being able to try things out and when I saw this I just thought it would be perfect for this summer because as I've mentioned in my life update video, my pal, my bestie Tamsin is coming to visit me from England and we're planning on taking some road trips around the state. I want to show her as much of Arizona as possible. So I thought this would be really nice, literally I could throw this in my bag and not have to worry about anything. All this is missing as far as like your daily routine is a toothbrush and toothpaste. That's about it. Just really quick or this video will get massively long. It comes with a shampoo and conditioner by Alterna. It's part of their caviar um, anti-aging line. Love that. Then we've got a Brazilian bum bum cream. I've heard of this before, the name is always a bit hilarious, but I haven't tried it, and when I smelled this, it smells so good, and I'm not usually a fan of, like it definitely smells of coconut, but there's some other stuff in there as well. It just, it it smells like holiday, and it's amazing, and it's, it's a really nice cream. So I don't know if it lives up to, it's like, it says it's supposed to like, firm, tighten and smooth your bot your you know, wherever you put it on. I'm not sure it really does that, but it's a really nice lotion. The thing that I was a little less fussed about, like, eh, I might use it, I might not, um, is a seven night supply of Beauty Z supplements. So all it's got to help you sleep is melatonin, vitamin B6, and calcium. I have vitamins that I already, or supplements that I already use to help me sleep at night, but this isn't a bad little packet to throw into my overnight bag just in case I end up somewhere like having to stay over at my parents' house and I don't have my supplements with me. We've got the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. Say that five times fast. Following your face wash, you're going to need a moisturizer. So we've got the Boskia Tsubaki Swirl, which is a two-part gel and cream deep hydration moisturizer. So you can see it's got this kind of swirl to it on the inside. And then inside there's a cream suspended in a gel. So I'm looking forward to trying that. I've been wanting to try this for a while, but I didn't want to buy a full size. So score. You will also want an eye cream. So we've got a complete eye renewal balm by Alginist. If you want any extra moisturizer boost, we've got the Amore Pacific, the Essential Cream Fluid moisturizer so you've got kind of your choice of moisturizers this is kind of the real winner for me I was really excited about this this looks like it's got to be a full size but it I don't know it might be a smaller size but it's still gonna last forever this is the CEO rapid flash brightening serum by Sunday Riley I've never tried any Sunday Riley products but I've been wanting to and I thought this was a really nice one to try it's got vitamin C they've got a special form of it to rapidly brighten the appearance of the skin and boost vital skin bounce in a flash so I'm super excited about that so it's just kind of a white cream kind of like a mix between a cream and a serum and that just kind of blends in really nicely oh it smells citrusy <laughs> so that's a really good amount because you only need like a pea sized amount of these types of serums so this bottle it's going to last me at least a solid month, so I'll know by that point if it's worth repurchasing. I will keep you updated. Then you might want to try, prior to your skincare, you, um, you might want to try a mask. So we've got the Bosque Illuminizing Black Mask, which is a peel-off mask. I don't use peel-off masks like this all over my face, but I do like these for like around my nose, kind of here, the this part of the cheeks, my chin, and like my forehead. So a little bottle like this will last me a while and will be good for that. If you want a mask after your skincare routine, if you want like a sleeping mask, we've got the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask, a nice little bottle of this. Smells really good. So I'm looking forward to trying that. During the day, um, to help keep your skin in good shape, 
we've got the Unseen Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 40 Water and Sweat Resistant by Supergoop. I will definitely be putting this to the test. So this comes out as, you can't even see it, it's just clear, almost like, um, what is it, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer or something. Um, so this kind of silicon gel clear primers, it's like that. It doesn't feel super silicone-y though, but yeah, and then it just blends into nothing, so I don't think you'd have any white cast with this. And then the reason that I was like, okay, I'm definitely going to pay the $40 for this whole set, it came with a Caudalie Eau de Beauté Beauty Elixir Spray. I'm going to use some of this now because I'm so flippin' hot. I love this stuff. I always have one stashed in my handbag. I have one at my desk. I think this one's now gonna live by my bedside table. It's one of my favorite facial sprays. It is a bit pricier. This size retails for $18, so this alone was worth half of what comes in the bag because this was $40. Retail value is $168, so you're getting a really good value. Like I said, the Sunday Riley product looks almost full size to me. It might be a half size the way that this is a half size, but I feel like these two alone are probably worth $40 for these sizes. So then when you add in all the other products, I'm excited. And some of these I think will last me a fair amount of time. So if you are doing any traveling this summer, you might want to check Sephora online or in the store and see if you can get your hands on this set because I think it's definitely worth the value. So then getting into the box of stuff that I ordered, the first thing that I got is this hair set by Amika. I'm loving I'm loving these the brightly colored clear um, plasticky makeup bags too. These would be great for by the pool. So this comes with four products. I've never tried Amika before, but I've heard good things about them. So we've got their Soul Food Nourishing Mask, the Wizard Detangling Primer, which I tried last night and it definitely does detangle and my hair felt pretty good this morning after it had air dried overnight. So really liked that. And then it comes with the Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray and the Perk Up Dry Shampoo. So I will be testing out both of these probably tomorrow. I just had my hair done today, which is why I'm trying to leave it down because I'm liking my blow dry, but oh my gosh, I'm so hot. I might actually just put it up into a ponytail for this last bit of the video because it is just, I'm just hot. It's only getting up to like 100 today, but it still feels a lot hotter and I was running errands and anyway, cool story, Andrea. No one wants to hear about the weather. Oh, also in the box, I should just put the box in my lap. Don't film videos when you are overtired and overheated. So the samples I got, I'm just running through them really quickly, a Cover FX foundation sample, an Ole Hendrickson Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer, and a Too Faced Hangover RX primer. These two little ones will go into my travel bag. From the Reward Bazaar, I got the Cover FX Mattifying Primer with Anti-Acne Treatment. I have the larger travel size of this. I've never bought the full size, but I have bought the travel size from the Isle of Doom because I don't go through primer super quickly, but I do like this one, especially in the summer when it's hot. It keeps my skin a bit more matte and it helps keep my skin from breaking out if I'm wearing um, foundation or something. And then as a mobile offer for the amount that I'd spent on this order, I got the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation, little bottle like that. I love getting these because again, I don't wear foundation that often. So whenever I can collect little samples like this, it comes in a nice pump bottle. I'm really happy with this. This will still last me probably a while. And then the rest of what I got are lip products. So, and these were both on sale. Um, so I got the Sephora collection, this is their ultimate gel shine, something like this, and this is in the shade Field Poppy, so it's nice and red, a slightly orangey poppy red, which I love for summertime, so looking forward to that. And it's fairly pigmented, it's not super shimmery, but it's, it's fairly pigmented, so I'm looking forward to trying that. And then I also got the, um, I need to be careful not to wipe this on my shirt, I almost did that. And I also got the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Nude Lip. 
So this comes with one full size and then four smaller sizes. I like this. It retailed for $28. It was half off for the Memorial Day sale, so I spent $14 on it, which is pretty good. These are almost all shades that I probably wouldn't buy a full size of, but having the little mini is kind of nice. So we've got the Tartist Lip Paint. Which do they have? Shade names. No, they don't. They're all nude shades though. So we've got a nude Tartus lip paint. We've got a nude shimmery nude buxom full on lip polish. I'm not going to swatch all of these because some of these I'm not keeping. I'm giving as gifts. So I'm not going to swatch those two. But then we have the, this is the full size Urban Decay Vice Special Effects in shade Fever. Which is just a clear, just just a clear, but it's got some shimmer to it. Then we've got the Smashbox. It's a liquid lipstick. I think I have this, and I, I think I, I have this formula. The formula is really nice, and I think I have this color, so this might be something that I'm giving away as well. But then I was excited to have, they've got an Hourglass Lip Stilo, which I love these. I have this in shade Icon and I really like it, so it's just a kind of nudie brown. This is in shade Futurist, which again, like, I love this formula, but this is not a shade that I would probably buy myself, so to have a little mini size of this, I'm really happy about. And then the main reason I bought this, um, this is one that I wanted to try and that I might buy the full size, they've got the NARS Orgasm lipstick. I have the NARS Orgasm lip gloss, and I love it, it's just, Again, that swatch is probably not going to show up very well. So that's the Lip Stilo and that's um, the NARS one. So it's kind of sheer, kind of nude, but slightly peachy and slightly golden. I love the lip gloss. It's actually what I'm wearing right now. It's faded a little bit on me right now, but I just I really like it. So I thought having the little one and then if I like it, I'll probably buy the full size later this summer. So. 24 minutes and 30 seconds. Battery light is flashing, but I've made it through the haul. As you saw, it was a couple like sets that had lots of minis. So I've got plenty of minis right now and I'm loving it. I'm also really loving the Aborian CC cream and the Becca under eye brightening corrector. So I will keep you posted on how things progress with those and I will definitely let you know how I get on with some of the travel minis from that face body hair set. I am really curious about the Sunday Riley cream or serum. I don't have a vitamin C serum right now in my skincare routine, so I'm excited to try that and see how that goes. Also the, the Boschia products I'm especially curious about, so I will keep you updated. So yeah, that's about it. Did you succumb to anything in the um, Sephora Memorial Day sale like I did? There were some amazing things in the sale. I, most of them were things that I was able to resist, and unfortunately the things, most of the things that I actually kind of needed, like the Aborian <laughs> CC cream were not in the sale, but I know there were some really good like deals on palettes and stuff, but I'm so cut off on palettes right now. And I'm cut off at Sephora in general for the rest of the month, definitely until Tamsin gets here, so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I will talk to you all later, and my brain is definitely overheated. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all in the next video. Um, I hope you'll come back. I hope you'll subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.